Your life, Flip. Ah, I'm live. Hello, YouTube. This is Flip Leeson. I'm gonna make a video showing you how the swag generator works. Don't mind the mess. Yeah, this is our laboratory, by the way. It um, looks tremendously a lot like a kitchen, which it is. And uh, this is salt water with uh, graphene ink from Robert Murray Smith. And uh, we're gonna pour some uh, salt water over it. Which incidentally has not been uh, measured in any s uh, sense, but uh, here goes. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. And it's, yeah, it's waterproof, more or less. Nice. Hey. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, this was a... Uh, Whoa. A yeah. Is that hot water in each? Yeah, it's hot water. Yes. Wanna try cold water? Yeah, I think because I think we're gonna maybe have a thermal response. And it's, yeah, it could, uh, be. could be, could be, could be, could be, could be. You know. Well, but it's it's waterproof, right? I'm not pouring graphene down the drain, so. No. Let's see, cold water. Uh. Well, that's it. <laughs> Back again to elaborate some more about the uh, the swag generator. Um, as we're uh, seeing here, we're still having some charts on the uh, on the the plate that we made for the swag generator. Um, over here, some salt water. Uh, my lovely assistant, Gaetano Miranda, <laughs> was uh, mentioning that we could have had a, a differential in temperature because this was uh, hot water to start with. Uh, right now we've got over here the probe says 28.4 degrees over there with my thumb. And when I uh, get the probe out of the the water it's actually 25-ish. So not that much of a differential anymore and we should be seeing the same results I hope. But uh, let's see. All right there we go. Salt water. All right. Not exactly the same as the last time. Oh yeah, there it goes. Yeah, that was a big one. That was a big one. It's like on the left side. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. And as you can see, it 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 it's not uh, gone after the the water stops flowing, or more or less flowing. But when we uh, short the uh, circuit out you see it's zero and then when we let go it goes back up and uh, no idea why uh, if you want to see more about it uh, go uh, have a look at the uh, Robert Murray's uh, Robert Murray Smith uh, experiments um, and uh, if you want to do the same for yourself um, over here I, uh, I ordered the uh, he, and the water resistant ink from Robert, but um, as he mentioned, it's water resistant and not waterproof. So here you go. This is shellac. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's used to uh, uh, as a furnish for uh, chairs and stuff. And uh, it looks like this. You have to put ethanol next to it, which is good. And uh, then you get this and it becomes waterproof, as you can see over here. And as we can see, it's still holding a charge. It's not um, on any load. It's just uh, yeah, connected directly to it. We don't have uh, an LED or something like that. But uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you.